and welcome to the Giraffe Social Media Podcast. It's what social media managers are talking about. I'm Nicole and today I'm joined by our lovely creative assistant, Chloe. Hi. For a special newsflash episode of the podcast where we will be somewhat ironically talking about the trend of audio on social media Uh, but before we get started on that I just wanted to give a quick shout out since this is actually our 50th episode yay crazy time really flies when you're having fun so thank you to all the listeners for your support and here's to 50 more I guess (laughs) (laughs) um but let's get straight into the episode so as I mentioned today we'll be talking all about audio on social media the latest apps that are sort of taking over this trend and how this all links back to social going private essentially so I think we should start off with the obvious uh podcasts (laughs) podcasts have blown up in the past few years and have become one of those most popular formats of media for a lot of people now in 2020 obviously due to lockdown a lot of people started listening to podcasts and it's estimated that almost 100 million people listen to a podcast each month in 2020 and it's gonna continue to grow uh so my question to you chloe is do you listen to any podcasts yourself other than this one of course <laughs> of course i mean yes i do often indulge myself and listen Mm. to episodes of this podcast but outside of that I am a big fan of podcasts Mm. I strangely only listen to sort of pop culture newsy digest kind of um podcasts which can get a bit repetitive when you listen Mm. to three in a week and they all cover the same topic but hey (laughs) it's what I like (laughs) I'm too scared to venture out of that little uh bubble Um, (laughs) yeah what about you yeah, no, I'm the same. I think it's actually kind of hard to find new podcasts. I don't know if you agree, but I've heard people say like, yeah, there's this really cool crime podcast where they talk mm. about like different mysteries. And I would love to listen to that, but I just don't know where to find them. Where do you find yeah. the podcasts? I honestly, I do kind of go off recommendations. Mm. I don't know how, that's the thing. I don't know how I've found these podcasts, which I now <laughs> like love, Yeah. but I kind of find podcasts. It's like finding a new podcast is like choosing a new friend. Like mm. someone can recommend to you, oh, this is a great podcast, but because you're listening to people speak, you do end up kind of feeling like you're part of that group. So mm. you need to find people that you really trust and enjoy listening to. I don't know if that's just me, but mm. I've been recommended hundreds. And sometimes I'm like, no, this isn't, I'm not feeling this. Not for you. Yeah, no, I think that's a really good point. I listened to uh, Louis Theroux's podcast last year and he like interviewed a bunch of people. And I feel like he's a trustworthy guy. I I like his documentaries. So I felt like I could trust that his podcast would be good. Like I thought I would Mm -hmm. learn something. And I think that was actually a recommendation as well from a friend. So I think you're right. There's quite like a personal aspect to it, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I think going for a celebrity podcast kind of works really well because mm. like Louis through everyone knows Louis and everyone trusts him already. So I've listened to um a podcast by David Tennant and oh. he interviews other celebrities and this is a recommendation for you and listeners. Mm. Um but he basically just interviews other celebrities but it's like you want to listen because it's David Tennant and he's yeah. interviewing people that you also already know. So if you're looking to get into that kind of thing, start with like celeb podcasts and yeah. then maybe venture out a bit more. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. And that does sound like a really cool podcast because who doesn't it love is. David Tennant? So exactly, I'm sure I would love that. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, I mean, I think lockdown, as we mentioned, has really escalated the popularity. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone was at home and everyone started making their own podcasts like yes. all the equipment that people have now like we're doing this both from our respective homes you know it's Remotely. so easy to do yeah mm-hmm. um and maybe that's you know part of the reason why it's become so popular because there's so much more choice now um yes. just quite interesting isn't it but i mean it's not just podcasts there are also apps and different social media platforms are also including this so clubhouse i'm sure we can talk about a little bit for anyone who doesn't know um Um, It's just an audio only platform, really, where people can create rooms to answer questions, give lectures, like showcase talent, I think is how they describe it. Um, But it already has like celebrities like Oprah and Mark Zuckerberg. So I guess, like you said, sort of bringing people in with celebrities, hooking them in 
they're kind of trying to do the same. I've never yes. been on it. Have Have you ever been on it? Is it even available in the UK? I don't even know. I'm not up to date. It's, <laughs> it's definitely available in the UK, but I okay. think it's via invite. So I have not been, uh, I'm not part of any <laughs> cool groups where I've been invited, but um, I do see a lot of influencers on there that I follow that are hosting like kind of masterclasses mm. and insider um, kind of secrets which is super cool. Um, but I guess, yeah, it kind of leads into what we were talking about, the privatization of social media, right? Like yeah. this exclusivity yeah. kind of thing. So I'm not sure how I feel about audio stuff being exclusive. Mm. Um, but hey, maybe that's just because I haven't got an invite yet. I'm a bit yeah. bitter. We're, we're not <laughs> part of the club yet. So hopefully someone, if you're listening, please give us an invite. That'd please be nice. send us an invite. <laughs> um, but it's super interesting. I mean, it's it's quite interesting that Mark Zuckerberg is on there. Like, I don't think it's a competitor to Facebook, but it's interesting that he's using it, you know, himself. is. I don't know. Maybe mm. he owns it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah. it is interesting. <laughs> Mm. very interesting yes but I mean not just Clubhouse Twitter are also sort of playing around with the format you can now like tweet like an audio thing like kind of like a voice note I guess is what it's like uh, which is quite interesting I've seen a few celebrities kind of do it as a joke but no one really <laughs> <laughs> taking it that seriously yet but it's still you know a perfect example of how it is you know infiltrating other apps because it's just just the audio yeah. uh it's definitely a trend that's here to stay and i think twitter are also playing around with audio rooms as well so similar to clubhouse um, they are and facebook so maybe that's what mm. mark was doing on there he was infiltrating it was and... research he was research he was just <laughs> finding was out research. how it works yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's very true so it's super interesting and i think it's such like we're at the beginning of this trend sort of taking off and I think it'll be interesting to see how else it's used sort of mm -hmm. in a couple of years. But I guess if we go back to sort of like the main point here, as, as you just mentioned again, Chloe, the idea of like social going private, it's like having a smaller community of people in within the platform, right? So I guess people maybe are rejecting or withdrawing back from sort of these large platforms and deciding no I actually want to have like a smaller space to communicate with fans I guess if you're a celebrity mm. or just other communities I mean I guess it's not really something new I think on every app there are different like areas that you fall into like with the accounts that you follow right I mean it's a it's already a joke on TikTok like what side of TikTok are you on like there are different <laughs> areas but I think this is something different where it can also be monetized basically is what's happening you know um so Definitely. I think it's it's very interesting to see what happens there but how do you think I guess like these different communities or celebrities can benefit from audio itself like how do you think they could use it and do you think you would interact with anyone like in an audio room for example yeah it's so interesting hey because when clubhouse first came out i was a little bit like oh why would like why would mm, anyone be mm. interested in that i don't really get the appeal but that being said i do love a good voice note mm. like i voice notes one of those things everyone wants to do it but everyone's just a little bit too embarrassed to send a voice <laughs> note to their friend but when someone does send you a voice note it's just like the best yeah. feeling like it's kind of a, a closer connection i guess like on social media you're typing everything or yeah. you're, you're posting a static image there's not really much opportunity to get to know the person behind that kind of thing and I think voice is a big factor in that mm. so I really like the idea of kind of coming together with maybe your favorite influencers on Clubhouse or like posting a voice tweet on Twitter mm. and it kind of just brings you closer in a way that if they say reply to their comment or posted a story they're talking to everyone mm. but you know having a small little community or a small room full of you know 10 to 15 people that feels a lot more personal for better yeah. lack of a word um so I definitely get the appeal um so someone please send me an invite <laughs> we're getting desperate <laughs> this is a crime yeah, help. yeah. <laughs> no I think you're completely right and I think actually going back to sort of Oprah and Mark Zuckerberg being on Clubhouse I think it's a really good tool for like opinion leaders or like these people who give like TED Talks, for example, of those types of content, maybe more than I realized, mm -hmm. you know, if you're having these these lectures, or you're just someone who people will listen to talk for an hour, <laughs> that mm -hmm. they really work for you. And I think you could really sort of draw people in, like you said, with that personal aspect of hearing a 
a voice like you're literally talking in someone's ear um definitely but also just like telling a story you know like the way ted talks work right like sometimes they're so long and they're talking for so long going through this this deep story or like other you know things that have happened to them but if that can be basically moved onto a social media platform and you're someone mm-hmm. who people will pay to listen to then why not i mean i guess yeah. i would maybe listen to someone who i think is really cool like an oprah for example i guess if she did do like a sort of lecture type thing and i was invited to listen to it why not you know it seems it seems yeah. really like luxurious or exclusive i think is the word you use like i think that's the key here isn't it mm-hmm so true and I think it's great if you're kind of like a thought leader like Mm. we were talking about it's so much easier to speak than it is Mm. to type Mm. like I can't count how many times I've been like can I call you Nicole just Mm. because I can't be bothered to type the question (laughs) so I'll just call you Mm. um so I think it's great for that I would much prefer to sit down and listen to someone give real insight into their industry or like give top tips that kind of thing than to read an ebook Mm. say that they were trying to release like I'll pay five pounds to listen to it I'm not sure I'll pay five pounds to read it because the information just won't stay with me so I think that's another aspect as long as like as well as getting to know someone or feeling personal connection to them it's kind of just an easier medium to consume I guess yeah and also you know we're busy people now I think we're so used to doing (laughs) so much at once right like we're used to being on social media and listening to music and having something on the tv and doing this and Mm -hmm. doing that um I know a lot of people listen to podcasts like whilst doing things around the house, right? Or I personally couldn't do this, but a lot of people listen to podcasts like whilst working. I think that that I would kind of mess with my head. <laughs> um, but I know a lot of people who do that and it's it's actually quite a skill. I'm, I'm quite impressed. That's um, a talent. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> but um, I know like, going on walks and everything, people listen to podcasts or maybe just like before going to bed, you know, just having headphones in. Um, but yeah. I feel like we're all like doing a lot more it's so much easier like you said rather than sitting down having the time to read a book or read an article um being able to have your headphones in or you know just listening to it whilst doing other things people really like that I think that's that's Mm -hmm. a, a natural progression with like how far social media is it makes sense that people would like that definitely it says a lot about us that we kind of can't go a single minute without consuming something <laughs> yeah, so we can't yeah. even walk the dog without listening to people <laughs> yeah very true very true I think it's uh, a little worrying but it is what it is <laughs> we won't get into that 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 today um but yeah I think that that's quite an interesting part of it I mean also uh, we sort of mentioned already just the ease of production is the other half of it you know it's so easy to make a podcast the the way that you can directly send it to your customer or consumer you know just like Mm. in an instant you know I mean you can film at home you can get a cheap microphone sign up to a platform and get it on Apple podcasts the next day you know or Spotify or whatever it's so easy now and you, you don't even have to be in the same room yeah. as the other yeah. person. I mean, yeah. we're in the same town, but I listen to podcasts where people are in like separate yeah. countries even. Yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah. So I think that's that's obviously got a huge part of it, how easy it is. Like celebrities, like we said, they were in lockdown as well, just like us. And that was a really good way <laughs> for them to produce content. And I imagine a lot of celebrities who had never really had to do that before had a lot of Zoom calls with setting up the microphone, getting the headphones on, (laughs) like figuring out how it all worked. But now they'll be able to do it themselves. And I think it just gives a voice to new people as well, not just celebrities. I don't know how many podcasts you listen to that are sort of non-celebrity based, but like just just random people who want to tell a story or have a niche, you know? Like I said, mentioned like the crime uh podcast yes. seem really popular I, I really want to listen to one so please I need someone to recommend one to me um but they sound really cool um and I think there are a couple of podcasts that have really taken off that were just made by like a girl in her house so if you had something to say and and that's really cool as well yeah it's great it's it's like another kind of influencer mm. I guess like mm. it's super cool that you know you could just have like a particular interest or just something you're an expert in yeah that you know, no one else really wants to listen to you talk about it. So you start a podcast and find like-minded people is is so cool. It's so different to like an Instagram influencer. It's so obviously so visual, that's, you know, kind of the point. But audio, you really have to research 
right? You do actually mm. have to put a lot of work into it. Not saying that like <laughs> the photography element of influencers isn't also a pretty big deal because you have to be super creative for that. But for an audio recording, like you have to have a script. I would say like you have to really think about, you have to think about topics, you know, you get interviews. Um, it's, it's maybe people like that as well. Like that extra element that people go to, to provide something for you. It kind of feels like it's got a whole production behind it, hasn't it? So maybe that element mm. is also quite interesting. Yeah, so I think there's lots to it. And obviously the monetization, like we sadly don't have a sponsor. If anyone wants to sponsor us, please let us know. <laughs> um, but a lot of podcasts are sponsored right like the second you listen to yes. it it's like sponsored by this person or there's a little break in the middle uh i feel like people got on that asap like the minute podcasts became a thing immediately they were sponsored and i think a lot of them have like their picture now it's like the podcast name and they're like sponsored by whoever like it's mm. a recurring thing it's like a tv show definitely and I think the good thing about like the audio medium is that I was talking to an influencer marketing expert recently and she was saying that um, a big part of their influencer campaigns these days is through podcast mm. and it, like completely I was like oh what do you mean and then I was like no of course like every podcast I listen to there is like a sponsorship segment in there where they talk about a brand and I I just always forget whereas mm. if I see like influencers on my feed like I'm like yeah that's sponsored obviously and it, it yeah. kind of gets not frustrating but you're very aware of it whereas through the audio medium it kind of goes over your head or mm. you can just skip it or tune it out so I think it's like a really great opportunity for kind of brands to jump on that because while it is like a really big thing in the podcast industry I think it's maybe not as mainstream mm. as it would be like promoting your brand through like influencers on Instagram or YouTube, that kind of thing. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's a really good point. Cause like, there's not going to be an entire podcast episode that's just about that sponsor. You know, like an Instagram post by an influencer, there's going to be one whole post that is dedicated to being an ad. Whereas being sort of filtered in slightly into the episode, like you said, that like you, you may not even realize, which maybe mm. isn't so good for the brand you know because they want them to be noticed but as a consumer you're kind of like you're just enjoying it it's probably being spoken to by the host so it's your friend like you said like that connection yeah uh, it's like a recommendation yes, right? yeah and it's very subliminal yeah so <laughs> if you are actually interested in that that's probably really going to work for you because like you said it's a recommendation but if you're not so interested you're just like yeah it's just an ad but in 20 seconds I'll get back to my episode it's like such and a different can, experience you can skip and it. you can skip yeah. it yeah so I think it's like it's got benefits to to both sides really to to a listener if it's if it's not relevant it doesn't matter you know you haven't lost anything it's not like a whole separate episode as I mentioned and as a brand mm -hmm. if someone is interested they're really gonna care because you've had a personal recommendation by the host and it's really going to stand out to them and it's probably going to be a way more valuable customer because they've actually spent time with this host and actually care about their recommendations so mm. yeah it's like got both, yeah. both sides to it for sure um but yeah i mean i think audio in general like there's going to be so much more like you, you mentioned sort of facebook maybe testing out as well i'm sure we'll see audio rooms on a few different places i think potentially i imagine it being in like an instagram dm feature or something like that soon yeah uh, i wouldn't be surprised but i think it, it kind of to me feels like when sort of video content got really popular like facetime and stuff like that <laughs> like suddenly you could group call on messenger and all that kind of thing. these little things that come out and now we can never live without that potentially in a few mm. years we'll be feeling the same who knows <laughs> thank you so much everyone for listening don't forget you can subscribe so you don't miss our next episode uh, and you can obviously connect with us on all major social channels and let us know what you thought about today's episode we've been draft social media you've been amazing and we'll see you next time bye